Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Let us pray to God that like St. Ignatius, we may also be able to offer our whole life to Him. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and marry to receive with him a crown in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses on Mount Sinai, Seven weeks of years shall you count seven times seven years, 
so that the seven cycles amount to 49 years. Then, on the tenth day of the seventh month, let the trumpet resound. On this, the day of atonement, the trumpet blast shall re-echo throughout your land. This fiftieth year you shall make sacred by proclaiming liberty in the land for all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you when every one of you shall return to his own property, every one to his own family estate. In this fiftieth year, your year of jubilee, you shall not sow, nor shall you reap the aftergrowth or pick the grapes from the untrimmed vines. Since this is the jubilee which shall be sacred for you, you may not eat of its produce, except as taken directly from the field. In this year of jubilee, then, every one of you shall return to his own property. Therefore, when you shall sell any land to your neighbor or buy any from him, do not deal unfairly. On the basis of the number of years since the last jubilee shall you purchase the land from your neighbor. And so also, on the basis of the number of years for crops, shall he sell it to you. When the years are many, the price shall be so much the more. When the years are few, the price shall be so much the less. For it is really the number of crops that he sells you. Do not deal unfairly then, but stand in fear of your God. I, the Lord, I'm your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations under earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. The earth has yielded its fruits. God, our God, has blessed us. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard of the reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, 
For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people for they regarded him as a prophet. But at a birthday celebration of Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given, and he had John beheaded in, in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola. And this year's feast day of St. Ignatius is a special one because this year has been declared as an Ignatian year. This is an Ignatian year because 500 years ago, St. Ignatius was converted. It was on May 20, 1521, just a few months after the discovery of the Philippines and the arrival of Christianity in our lands, when Ignatius the soldier was struck with a cannonball. Tinamaan siya ng bala ng kanyon. And that was the beginning of his transformation. Because he was bound to his room and while recuperating, he read the life of Christ and the life of the saints. And that led him to give his life to Jesus. It was his body that was struck by that cannonball, but it was his whole life that was transformed. He became a disciple, a follower of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, sometimes, God also sends cannonballs to strike us, not to destroy us, but to make us better. In our first reading today, we heard the instructions of the Lord about the celebration of the Jubilee year every 50 years. Dito nagsimula ang ating tradisyon ng pagdiriwang ng Jubilee Year. And the Jubilee Year is a joyful celebration. But if we look closely at the instructions of God on how the Jubilee Year should be celebrated, we will come to realize that it is like a cannonball to strike us. One very important element of the Jubilee Year is freedom. During the Jubilee year, everything should be freed. Slaves should be freed. Animals, lands should be freed. Even debtors should be freed. Just imagine, sa taon ng hubileyo, kapag Jubilee year, 
Kapag may utang ka, dapat palayain ka mula sa pagkakautang mo. Paano na kung ikaw yung nagpapautang? Kapag panahon ng hubileyo, yung mga lupa ibabalik sa tunay nilang may-ari kapag yan ay ipinahiram, isinanla. Kapag panahon ng hubileyo, yung mga alipin na noong panahon yon ay binibili, ay kailangan mong palayain upang makauwi sa sarili nilang lupa. It is like a cannonball that will strike them. I wonder if they really look forward to Jubilee years. But my dear brothers and sisters, the Jubilee year is intended to make them realize that everything belongs to God. Because of the Jubilee year, they will become better people of God. It's like a cannonball to transform them. Our gospel also talks about a cannonball in the life of Herod, John the Baptist. John the Baptist was like a cannonball that always strikes Herod because of his immorality and sinfulness. Unfortunately, even when Herod was always struck hard by John the Baptist, Herod did not become better. He became bitter to the point that he had John the Baptist beheaded. My dear brothers and sisters, what are the cannonballs that God sent to you? Ano ba yung mga bala ng kanyon na ipinadala ng Diyos para tamaan ka? Ano ba yung mga bagay na nagpamulat sa atin sa mga katotohanang hindi natin matanggap sa buhay? What are these things that hit us hard but made us realize many good things about our life. I'm sure this pandemic is like a cannonball to us. But what have we realized? How have we been transformed by this experience? Siguro yung mga nangyayari sa ating lipunan para ring bala ng kanyon na tinatamaan tayo, pinahihirapan tayo, Sinasaktan tayo, pero namumulat ba tayo? Natututo ba tayo? Alam na ba natin kung ano ang ating gagawin para mas mapabuti ang ating buhay at ang buhay ng ating lipunan? What are God's cannonballs? And how did it affect you? Did you become better? like Ignatius of Loyola, or did you become bitter like Herod? My dear brothers and sisters, someone said that the pain that does not kill you will only make you better. And so let us thank God for the cannonballs that He sends us. And may these cannonballs, like Ignatius, like the experience of Ignatius, make us better people, better Christians. May they make us follow and love Jesus even more. Gather together in Christ to conquer all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness 
to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That warring nations may learn to live in harmony and mutual cooperation in bringing peace to the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and opposing the subtle influences of evil, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all engineers, especially civil engineers, as they observe the National Disaster Resilience Month, be given the guidance, knowledge, and wisdom as they practice their profession and as they continue their efforts, particularly in promoting disaster resilience, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may come to the promised everlasting home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God and Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son, the conqueror of sin and death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing, Lord God and granted the sacred mysteries which you have made the fount of all holiness, may sanctify us too in the truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ignatius, you bid your church, your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Ignatius of Loyola, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art Lord in, in heaven, heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. 
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of St. Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end, through Christ our Lord. Amen. On this feast day of St. Ignatius of Loyola, we wish to extend our greetings to our brothers who are members of the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits. Happy Feast Day po sa inyo sa araw na ito ng, at, ng ating mahal na San Ignacio. We also wish to thank the officers and members of the Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers for joining our celebration today. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa online mass na ito. At katulad po ng nai-announce na natin bilang pagsunod sa IATF uh, guidelines simula sa araw na ito hanggang sa August 20 
ay magkakaroon lamang po tayo ng mga online masses. We will not have uh, the public celebration of masses here at the Manila Cathedral. We pray that everyone may be safe, that uh, this period of uh, uh, strict quarantine may be a time that uh, we will be able to recover, we will be able to stem the transmission of the virus, especially with the different variants of the virus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.